Hi, this is Phil Chandler, and today it's time to talk about cast swarms. Uh, we have a little collection here. Cast swarms are secondary swarms that are thrown off after the primary swarm. And last, when was it, a couple of days ago, we collected two primary swarms from this location. Uh, these secondaries have been cast off by uh, one or other or possibly both of the same colonies and they will contain virgin queens that's the big difference between the primary and the secondary is that the, the primary swarm has the current laying queen with it uh, the secondaries have virgin queens so these guys need to be housed and given the opportunity to fly off and get mated so the first job to do is to obviously remove them from the bush so what we don't want to do is put these bees in the air if we can possibly avoid it. So what we're going to do on this case, um, because they're on a... Oh, what is this? It's Your an elm. Hey, elm. Is it elm. Okay, so we're going to just snip the, the, the twig like so. And now the swarm is entirely portable. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to drop it into uh, a little apodea box I have to have here. And I don't want to aerialise this swarm, so I'm going to put the whole thing gently, carefully, slowly into the box in one movement. Uh, just do a little bit of pruning of excess foliage. Like so. Pop the lid on. And they are now ready to be taken to their final destination, which will be a hive somewhere. And that's all you need to do. Um, car swarms are notoriously flighty. In other words, uh, there is no guarantee they're going to stay put anywhere you put them. Um, but they're much more likely to stay put if you take them well away from the area where you found them. So this is going to go uh, some distance away from you. Okay, so that's the first one. Liam is now going to demonstrate the snippy technique. This is the largest of the three casts and they're going to go into the basket like this. Just like you're picking a bunch of grapes really. Okay, and then the next one before this one flies away. That's great. Just wrap it up. We need. To, we really need to turn this upside down before we before we do the wrapping bit. To be honest. Sure. So if you can turn it upside down onto the onto Straight the over. sheet. Yeah. Gently. Gently. <laughs> <laughs> so the basket needs to be just wrapped up like this, and uh, this is a not actually a very big piece of sheet that we've got on here. Um, if we had a bigger piece then we would tie it at the top but we'll, we'll improvise some other method, probably involving bungee cords. Now, <laughs> this often happens with, with, uh, with secondaries as well, is that you get extra little bunches forming. Now they may or may not have a queen in there, it's quite possible that they do, but We'll just let the rest of them gather. There's another little group here. We'll let them settle and then we'll deal with them separately as another mini swarm. and walk upwards into it. We'll just shake a few right in the front here. What we want to see now is a nice movement into the entrance and that's what's happening.
sometimes you find queens when you look on the uh, on the board but I think at least one of them will have gone in she's just diving under So we know there's one queen in there now. I don't know what these two are doing. There's one, <laughs> two bees fanning in opposite directions, back to back there. 